An Australian contemporary dance group has been in Hanoi for the past week, giving performances at the Vietnam Youth Theatre, Hanoi Rock City, as well as Chung Nguyen Cafe. Our reporter Thuy Dương catches up with the group's founder and one of the dancers in our On The Mic this week. Remnant Dance Group started from the idea of interest in the narrative possibilities of dance. The Perth-based Performing Arts Collective brings to Hanoi their dance works, infused with stories and scenery from the Australian outback. Hello, Lucinda. Hello, Caroline. Thank you very much for coming on to our On The Mic. How are you two doing today? Well, thank thank you. you. I understand this is the group's first international tour. How did you come to Vietnam? Australia and, and Vietnam have a quite a long history and next year is the 40th um, celebration of that relationship, that special relationship between the two cultures. Um, we, we had a friend who is also an artist, Rachel Cunningham, who was able to um, advocate for us and at the invitation of the Vietnam Youth Theatre, we, we came for a week to do some performances and also to do some workshops with uh, you know, dance, professional dancers from the Vietnam Youth Theatre as well as some of the writers from the Hanoi Writers Collective. And so, so we came and were delighted and surprised and um, amazed by how warm and friendly and creative and also really intelligent uh, the, the artists that we've been working with were and are. So it's been a, a delightful week, really beautiful. I understand that your first night of performing here was at the Vietnam Youth Theatre. How was that? The audiences have been very open and very embracing. Um, and it's been wonderfully unexpected, but wonderful as well. They have been so um, welcoming in their response and in their reactions to, to us and our work. And we, we feel very, very embraced by the Vietnamese audiences here. They're wonderful, very open. Small Pieces, a GIF. A dedicated dance collective performed for the Vietnamese public. Remnant Dance Group uses dance, visual arts, and the endless possibility of imagination to take their audiences on an artistic and cultural adventure of Australia. I see you by the water, your toes dipped in the sand. I thought that it was over, I thought you'd understand. But the feeling is returning, the time has made us change. I was so proud to, to see an Australian dance troupe in Hanoi. I really thought they were fantastic and it's all about sharing, sharing our different traditions of dance and sharing experiences like that. So I think it was very, I think it was very well received tonight. I could just imagine all of the, the practice that they must have done to, and working out all that intricate choreography. So that was one of my favourite bits. I also really like the, the, sub, the way they integrated the film into, into the piece really gave it something extra, I think. Let's go back a little bit to the very beginning. Can you tell me about how Remnant Dance Group came to be, Lucinda? That's a, that's a great question. Uh, a, few, a, a couple of years ago, uh, I started thinking a lot about uh, what is contemporary dance in Australia. And um, I, I love the differences in ages. I love seeing different ages, different cultures, different you know, men and women dancing together and children as well. So I liked the idea of having a space, a collective, where independent artists could come, just bring who they are and bring what they want to contribute and we could create work together. So the intention was really what, what our, you know, our vision statement is to create, make and connect. So we seek to do that through, through artistic practice. But I guess what is distinctive is that it's intergenerational, it's cross-cultural, it's interdisciplinary in focus as well, and we're very interested in telling stories uh, that are accessible to, to all sorts of cultures and, and people groups. Now Caroline, how did you first become part of the Remnant Dance Group? Yes, well, <laughs> I was um, one of the first first dances with Remnant Dance a, a couple of years ago. Um, myself and a, another dance member, we just 
um, started working with Lucy uh, on just a short piece which eventually evolved into a bigger piece. Our main inspiration, I guess, is to show something new um, to not just Australian audiences but international audiences as well. Um, it is, it's a very unique thing to have um, older dancers and younger dancers together. It's very, very unique to have um, ballet dancers alongside contemporary dancers um, and dancing together. Uh, it is very unique to be having someone read text and show film at the same time as dance is happening. So I guess the inspiration is to to bring something new, to show something new, um, as our tour, uh, tour is called, small pieces, a gift, bringing a gift, a new thing. Lucinda, I understand that as part of your performance, you combine visual arts into your dance performances. Tell me about this uh, combination and uh, merging of different forms of media. I thought it might be lovely to bring some small pieces of work that we've been developing over the last few months. And a lot of what we do is interdisciplinary in nature, so we have film, um, including you know landscape shots. So um, I do a lot of full drive camping in Australia and Australia is a very big country and not a lot of people. It's very different to yeah. Hanoi so we'll, we'll travel for days, day after day after day and it's just flat desert. So some of the footage has been um, taken in the middle of Australia where there's not, not anything much except desert. So we wanted to bring images of Australia as well as live performers and interact that um, with original soundscape. We have a singer-songwriter who does develop a lot of our music with us collaboratively. Uh, our fashion designer creates and makes the costumes and, and each one of these pieces um, for us is a gift to Vietnam. It's a way of saying this is, this is some of our stories. In between their performing schedule in Hanoi, the members of Remnant Dance Group took the time to join in a dance exchange with the dancers of the Vietnam Youth Theatre. The dancers are part of Dance Group 3 of the theatre which focuses on modern and contemporary styles. The three-hour exchange quickly bonded the dancers as they learn each other's movements. We tried to experiment with combining between the different dance moves of the two countries and it's very interesting. It sets a first stepping stone for collaborations between the two countries in the future. Personally, I'm really happy about it and I know my colleagues at the Australian Embassy are also very happy to see this kind of collaboration between Australian and Vietnamese artists. Uh, I think it says a lot about what uh, can be achieved when people from our two countries work together and we really hope that it will continue in the future. A big part of coming here to Vietnam has been the exchange between the Remnant Dance Group and the Vietnam Youth Theatre Dancers. How was that experience? Oh, that would have to be one of the highlights of the trip. Um, we, we did a workshop with them today and we did have the awesome privilege of being able to, to share um, what we had but we also um, received from them as well. The Vietnamese dancers were very professional um, because they made um, something that is very intricate and difficult um, seem so simple and elegant and they're all beautiful. Now, do you see going into the future now any future Vietnamese and Australian collaborations in terms of dance? Well, we, we've been invited back next year to um, by the Vietnamese Youth Theatre, and we have the support of the Australian Embassy. So 
there's and, and certainly a lot of audience support. Lots of lots of people that we've been working with saying, "Will you come and teach? And will you come and perform? And to go to Ho Chi Minh City and 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 travel around." So there's certainly a lovely interest, and we would love to come back. The the kind of work we did today, I think, shows the possibilities for workshopping across two different cultures and creating something new. Well, we very much look forward to both of you coming back. Thank you very much for joining our show and we hope that you have the best of luck in your future endeavors with the group and that you'll continue to come back to Vietnam. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Contemporary dance is a style of expressive dance that combines elements from several genres of dance. And today we have a rare opportunity to explore this art form on the stage of Vietnam Youth Theatre. Six contemporary dancers of the troupe mark the show with various dances, ranging from short interdisciplinary pieces to longer ones. By using body movements and unique genres, the dancers turned the small details such as coats, shoes, breath, etc. into a story that conveys different messages. The name remnant dance really comes from this idea of taking the leftovers and the remnants of things and reinventing it to tell a new story. So the things that some people think are too old or just, you know, rubbish, we are interested in that and interested in putting that together to tell a new story, something that's engaging. So our work um, is Australian contemporary dance. Uh, all of the dancers have got background in classical and contemporary or modern dance training and we'll see how um, the audience responds and we would love to come back so that would be very exciting and, and we hope to do so in 2014. Remnant dance star incorporate film, printed imagery and music. The troupe gathers creative dancers with years of experience in performing ballet, jazz, hip-hop and contemporary dance. I'm from Malaysia, moved to um, Perth, Australia to study dance at Ali Cohen um, University under WAPA, the Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts. A lot of preparation has gone into this, um, a lot of time um, rehearsing and yeah, just a lot of love, a lot of love. Five pieces including The Greeting, My Grandmother's Piano, Two Coats, Breath and I We Go from 5 to 20 minutes in length gave the audience lots of emotions. I loved it. I was really drawn in by the freshness and the emotion. I loved the colours and all of the movement. It was a really great show. My favourite piece was the second piece because the beat was very fast and their dance moves had more purpose than the other, other pieces. The dancers will hold a discussion with the youth theatre artists on June the 20th and state some other performances in Hanoi. The shows in Vietnam are in preparation for the troupe's 2014 Asia tour.